What is going on guys? Pogi Live here and I am so excited for this video because I love Animal Crossing New Horizons and I want it to never ever ever die out. So I have put together a compilation of 21 things that I think everyone should know and coming in at our number one here is to simply enjoy the game. It is meant to be enjoyed. So guys, do not give up on Animal Crossing. So next up we have balloon colors. So the color of the balloon does matter. So definitely know which is which so that you don't let them pass by or fall into water. Now make sure you guys are using your lost item box. Check it daily. There's always going to be some items, some that just kind of suck, but there's going to be some really cool items in there that you can use on your island. Now next up, make sure you're utilizing the full potential of the customization process here. There are so many fun patterns to just add to your island. I'm a Pokemon person, so I found some Pokemon patterns and just slapped them down on my island, and it was so freaking cute. Now, the next pro tip that I recommend for you guys is to utilize trash cans because these pesky lost items cannot be sold, so you can just toss them in a bin and other items that really just don't sell for a lot of bells, so don't worry, guys. You can get rid of them. Now, next up, we have one of the cutest characters, Wisp, whose spirit just scatters through the island, and you have to go on a little bit of a scavenger hunt and find them for her and bring it back. So I highly recommend not ignoring Wisp because if you are bored in the game, trust me, guys, it gives you something to do and you can get a fun little reward out of it. You can either get something new or get something expensive, and it's just a really fun added feature to the game. Now, speaking of scavenger hunts, if you like a little bit of a hunt, make sure you're checking your beaches every day for that DIY in a bottle. Even if you already have it, you can sell it. But you never know, guys. You might get some really cool DIYs that you didn't already know. Now, this game is so impressive with holidays, especially New Year's Eve, guys. I know you guys are busy, but I highly recommend just even time traveling once and experiencing this cute little countdown and the fireworks show. The next holiday I highly recommend you guys experiencing is Halloween, especially if you like that spooky little decor in the game. Isabel is wearing her cute little hat. I just love it. So my next huge pro tip is make sure you access this ABD machine every single day to collect your 50 bonus miles, guys. They rack up, trust me. My next pro tip would be to make sure that you are checking your seasonal items. Sometimes they're gonna be really good, sometimes they're not, but it is definitely worth it if you are trying to collect all the items in the game. Now, next up, we have your birthdays, guys. You have to experience it at least once, even if you just time travel to it. You get a cute little cake, you get a present, you get a pinata with cupcakes, and it is just such a wonderful experience in the game. What an awesome feature in Animal Crossing. Now, next up in your fossil part in your museum, you can actually see the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs, which a lot of people don't know about if you stand on that little blue circle. And it's also a great place to take a cute little picture for that photo album. Next up in those winter months, if you see some snowballs, stop what you're doing, kick them around until you can finally roll them and just keep going until you can put them together and you'll get a snowboy in the game and Guys, he's kind of mean if you make a bad one like I just did, but it's definitely worth doing these in the winter. So next up, we have online play. So guys, if your friends play the game, make sure you're traveling to each other's islands. It's a fun way to just give each other gifts, to just see how their island is coming along, and to just be supportive. So something that you should be doing every single day is checking those rocks because one, guarantees some form of bells. So absolutely check them every single day. Do not miss out on that opportunity to collect some extra bells. I know there's quite a few rocks, at least I have quite a few on my island, so you do have to run around and find them all, but it is worth it for a little extra cash. So I am super guilty of ignoring Mr. Gulliver here, but if you see him on your shore, help him find his communicator parts so that he can get back home they're either going to be in the ocean or in the sand, and it's just something to do. It's like a little mini scavenger hunt where you can just find his little pieces that he needs and help him out, guys. Don't ignore him. I do it so much, and I always feel bad, but 
Again, it is something to do if you are bored. I don't know how often he does show up on your island if there's like a set number, but I do see him um, a good amount and I'd say out of five times, I maybe help him once or twice. So don't make this mistake guys, help Gulliver out and it will give you something to do. So when you are digging for those sea items, if you get a scallop, you're gonna get Pascal. And I always find it really fun to try and get a scallop so I can see him. He is one of my favorite characters. I just think he is so adorable. So I love when I get a scallop. So I highly recommend trying to find one so you can spend a little bit of time with Mr. Pascal. And then when he swims away, you can actually see him eat the scallop, which is just super cute. And I think that anyone who plays the game and loves it as much as I do should do more. Now, next up, you guys can learn how to do a front flip. I do have a video tutorial on my channel on how to do this with the controls. Highly recommend it. It's super fun and it's just a nice little spin to the game. So I highly recommend learning how to flip in Animal Crossing. Now nearing our last few points of the video, do not be afraid to move things around. The game was meant to be a design game. So talk to Tom Nook if you don't like where certain things are and move them around. Yes, it requires a little bit of time. You can always time travel if you're impatient like me. I'm always time traveling when moving stuff because I want it immediately but do not be afraid to play around with your design. I see so many people that are miserable with their design. Change it guys, it's fun, it gives you something to do. Now if you are near the back of your island and you see this little boat, it is red. He does sell the artwork. This is how you complete the art part of the museum. I have completed it, but I still like to go in and just check out the art. I like to figure out if it's real or fake. I've kind of gotten good at knowing which is which, but if you guys go on some forums, you'll be able to see what the fake art looks like so you don't buy it. Or if you don't wanna, I guess technically that is cheating maybe. Um, you can just take a shot and get one. Unfortunately though, if you do get fake art, you can't do anything with it, which sucks. So I did not want any more in my storage guys, but Red's a really cool character. You don't see him too often unless you go to Harv's Island a lot. Personally, I don't go there much at all, but I highly recommend going into the boat, checking out the art and teaching yourself which is real and which is fake. I don't know um, how much you guys like the art part of the museum. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I did want it completed. So definitely worth checking out. So last up guys, I know it gets boring after a while, but use these Nook Mile rewards as little missions. That's technically what they are. So you can actually read what they ask you to do and you can collect miles, but it gives you something to do. Like there are so many of these that I don't have done and I feel like it would be really fun to try and complete them all. So that is going to be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment. Let me know if any of these pointers helped. I'm always trying to find new ways to keep the game fresh and exciting. There's so much to do. I promise I am trying to uncover cover it all. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.